to start reading that pitch and knowing where it's going to go, knowing that it's going to fade out of the strike zone. Everidge goes after one, lost a fly ball toward the right field wall, way back it goes, and the Wolves won't contain it. Tommy Everidge gains that off-speed pitch and takes it out the right field. one nothing Barnstormers. Uh, I, I talked about it a, a week or so ago in my conversation with Tommy, and he said it's easy to adjust. And he just adjusted to that off-speed stuff that Gonzalez is throwing, and he loses one in the uh, Amelia Picnic uh, 10 area. Lancaster with a 1-0 lead in the bottom of the third. Second night in a row that... Lopez sets the target. Here's the 0-1. Average gives it a ride. Deep to left. Way back it goes. Over everybody on the hillside, a two-run home run for Tommy Everidge. End of drought at an eight-nothing Barnstormer lead. He has tied the franchise record. A monstrous home run to left field. And that's what we said about Tommy. Every time we think he's going to go into a long tailspin this year, he breaks out of it. Very often it has been in a dramatic fashion. And that's one of the longest home runs. To Mr. Everidge, he will make you pay. Barcelo into his motion, 2-1 pitch. Swing and a high fly ball, left field. Will this one go? Majewski to the wall, and it is gone up onto the walkway. Home run, Tommy Everidge. The walls did not contain it in the least. The Barnstormers with their third solo shot of the game. And it's 3-1. And I said between innings to Dave, I said, Lancaster's got to come out and we've got to see Everidge and Saginaw hit these home runs and get that, that momentum back. And that definitely helped. And Home runs by Everidge, Tiffy, and Metcalf account for the three runs by the Barnstormers. Not much else. 1-1. One, one. Everidge was inside. The last one was in the outside part of the plate. Then this most recent one was again back in the inside to average 2-1, hammered out the left field, sprinting back on it as Gutierrez, it's over his head, and onto the hill, a home run. That's number 28 for Tommy Everidge. And the Barnstormers take an early one to nothing lead. And it didn't look like he hit it all that hard. That wasn't a typical Everidge shot, that was a line drive. I thought that was gonna go off the wall for a double. But I'm sure we'll take the run. Tommy Everidge is going after Ray Navarrete on two fronts. The league doubles record, which Ray holds at 42 from 2007, and the home run lead here in 2011. Everidge wraps number 28 on. The infield coming up halfway with Mejia at third, Leiden at second, and one out. Massetti to the plate. Everidge hits a fly ball deep to right center. Back goes Ortiz, Ortiz to the wall, lifting up, and the walls don't contain it. There's the quarter century mark for Tommy Everidge and a four to nothing lead. Now, you don't know how much that ball did work on Massetti. And he gave up a go for one to, to Everidge, and now Tommy will get the obligatory cup of water as he heads into the dugout. That one. <laughs> 25 home runs, 81 runs batted in, and just shy of 400. And he's driven in 32 runs. Not bad. In order to the plate, and that ball is hit high in the air, dead center. Adrian Ortiz chasing it back. That ball's got some legs on it, and it clears the batter's eye, a home run. Tommy Everidge with number 24 for the year, and the Barnstormers lead 6-2. to two. Well, that Oh, did that go? And it just kept going and going and going. A monster shot from Tommy Everidge presented by Ford. I'll tell you what, when that went off the bat, I thought it might have been a deep fly ball to center field, and Ortiz just kept running and running, and the ball didn't seem to want to come down. Now it's Fernando somewhere. Now Junior Novoa is loosening up. To Everidge 0 1, hit in the air to right field, way back it goes. Heading back is Macias and looking up, the walls will not contain it. Home run, Tommy Everidge. <laughs> and the Barnstormers are on the board. That is his 18th of the season. The shutout is broken up. 
<laughs> I talked about shutouts. <laughs> Bound to happen. Tommy Everidge hits the home run. We, we Every talking. once in a while, it'll work when you're trying to make it work. We were talking between. Or so. Hold off second with two outs. Everidge swings, and it's a fly ball right center field. This one's going to carry. Way, way back it goes, and the walls will not contain it. Make it nine for Everidge. A two-run home run, and the Barnstormers lead 6-3. With some of these other balls that have gotten to the warning track here tonight, there was no question that that one was going to disappear beyond himself in not a dramatic slump, but certainly a mild one. He had a pretty good game a few days ago, but other than that, hasn't hit the ball real well. Skies went out the right field, going back is Mooney. Mooney to the wall, looking up, and the walls do not contain it. Home run, Tommy Everidge. That's his 11th. Tying for the league lead with a man who will step into the batter's box, Fernando Seganal. Uh, that was definitely a Clipper Magazine special. That barely made it up. That looked like it was going to be a fairly routine fly ball. But Lancaster will take it with the, the offensive woes they've had. And Lancaster, is, for a change, jumped out to a 2 to nothing lead. And nobody's worried about style points right now. Yeah, absolutely. Here is Seganal, a designated hitter, 292 with 11 home runs. And anybody who's played for Hobson has loved the experience. 3-1. To the plate, and Everidge gets hold of one, roping it out toward left field, sprinting back is Mooney to the wall, and the walls won't contain it. Tommy Everidge damaging a pitch from a lefty once again, this time leaving the ballpark with home run number 12 to take over the league lead. A line drive homer onto the hillside. Everidge rounds the bases, and the Barnstormers have a 1-0 advantage. And that's a bomb out to left field. Now, you know, the, the breeze is uh, starting. To but still, he's only thrown 76. 2-2 two, two. on average. Here's the offering, and that's hit fairly well. Right field backing up goes Godwin to the wall, and the walls will not contain it. Average with his first home run since May 20th, number seven on the season. The Barnstormers play a little bit more long ball and lead 3-2. to two. Well, They've and only got four hits, but... <laughs> Three of them were for home, home runs. Nick Hall with some room to spare. 0 and 1. The count to average. Here's the pitch. And Tommy goes deep to right field. Back this one goes. And the walls will not contain it. Home run, Tommy Average. He had three of them up there in spring training. He's got this stadium down. And the Barnstormers now are up by the score of 3 to nothing. Tommy just Everidge. have to say home run, and they just hit him. Average. A guy who uh, won a Cal League home run title earlier in his minor league career. If he stays in this ballpark any length of time, he's going to pile up some numbers. Everidge blasting it deep into the night against the Road Warriors. Lancaster leading four zip, but the Road Warriors come all the way back for a 5-4 win. Also last night, the Red <laughs> up Everidge with his ninth inning. Holt leads off second. He's the pinch runner. Morlan to the plate. Everidge swings, hits a high fly ball down the left field line. Way back it goes. Will that stay fair? That is a home run! Tommy Everidge 
with the walk-off blast onto the walkway. The bird. Tempting to go that way. Kick the pitch. Everidge instead screams one deep left field. Back goes Kennard Jones all the way back. And the walls will not contain it. That's way, way back there. Everidge with his eighth home run of the season, giving the Barnstormers a 1-0 lead. I lost that in the glare, Tom, out there. I'm not sure where it came down, wow. but I just knew it was well beyond the left field wall. It came down about the walkway. So he got all of that with him. <laughs> that was one of those no doubt about it. And uh, that's a good sign for the Barnstormers who have never lost when there's been a home run hit. Fernando second. That's Durbin's one bad inning for the contest. Everidge awaits the 1-0 and hits a fly ball deep to right toward the corner. It's slicing, and the walls don't hold it in, but the foul pole does. A home run. It is 1-1. I think that hit the picnic, the, the pavilion, the awning, and then bounced over to the foul pole. I saw the right about where the eye is in Roney where the ball actually hit. A home run. Needless to say, doesn't matter where. For Tommy Everidge is 16th of the season again, coming off a left-handed pitcher. And he gets a little cup of water as a gift. And Sanchez looks out and points towards the left field, I mean right field. The 0-1 offering. Hit in the air to center, and this is hit very well. Sprinting back, Grimes. Grimes looking up at the stoner glass sign, and the walls don't hold it in. Tommy Everidge with a multi-home run game. His first is a barnstormer, 17 on the year, and it's now 6-1. to one. He hit that one last night over the batter's eye, and then earlier he just kind of got one up in the picnic area, and now he's spraying them all around. And that doesn't have time for the league lead again. Tied with West Bankston at 17. Everidge is getting hot again, and that's just what you like to see with this Revolution team coming in. He's always been. Everidge digs in 3-1. Here's the wind by Gordon, the pitch. Hit high to right field. This one curling toward the pole. Leiden is over. Leiden looking up, and the walls do not contain it. It's a home run for Everidge. He finally gets number 10 to tie everybody else. And the Barnstormers are on the board. It is four to one. Um, just as uh, Clipper Magazine Stadium has taken away, they've just given one back. Average joining Saginaw and Tiffy against the Bluefish. Three two. Johnson to Average. The kick. The offering. A swing and a blast deep down the left field line. Way, way back it goes. And the walls th do not contain it. The stadium <laughs> barely contains it. Everidge with a home run, and the Barnstormers lead 3-2. to two. Oh, That my. landed about the same spot as his walk-off home run against Southern Maryland six days ago. <laughs> Holy Toledo. <laughs> well, that's about where that ball landed. I was just it's about totally to say the same thing. <laughs> Gee whiz. I mean, I, no one in a Camden uniform moved. There was no sense unless you wanted to get a better vantage point of where it landed. My heaven. That's what I'm saying. Why does he have to worry about going to right field?